Are you ready? Let's go ahead and get up. Let's go ahead and get out of our house. We're going to go on a virtual trip to the Boys and Girls Club. Welcome to the Boys and Girls Club. I hope you guys have been having a great time right now. I know it's weird. It's weird being isolated. But let's just have a little fun. We're going to go on a virtual lesson right now. We're going to have a fun time with our staff here at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Oxnard and Port Wainimi. So, I hope you guys are ready because we have an awesome lesson planned for you guys today here at the club. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Jovina from the Port Wainimi Clubhouse and today we are going to do a STEAM activity. So let's get started. I want to take you guys on a virtual tour of the Aquarium of the Pacific website. So let's get started. So. The thing that you guys will need is just an electronic device that has internet access. And you guys will just type up here, aquariumofpacific.org, and it should take you to the Aquarium of the Pacific website. So for those of you that don't know the Aquarium of the Pacific, um, this aquarium is located in Long Beach here in California. Um, it's a really cool aquarium where you get to see some of the ocean animals as well as being aware of some of the things that are being done in terms of research and being aware of how our impact affects the environment. So I wanted to go ahead and highlight two things on here. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first one that I wanna highlight is exhibits. So this will basically show you guys all the different things that go on at the aquarium. So let's say I wanna look at jellyfish, click on jellies and you guys can explore different types of jellyfish. If you go here to webcams, you can look at the exhibits virtually to see what the animals are doing. So you can see what the sharks are doing, um, the jellyfish movements in the aquarium. There's interactives. In the interactives, um, you guys can explore a little bit more. Um, so such as story maps where you can explore the aquarium um, and projects that they've done. You guys can see what the Aquarium of the Pacific has done over the years. So the one I wanna give attention to right now is the Ocean Science Center. So the Ocean Science Center is the part of the aquarium where they highlight the exploration of our planet and it tells stories about the ocean and things that go on in the ocean and the impacts it has on has on us and just the world. Um, so these are basically the the different topics. Um, when you click on the image, it's just going to zoom in on the image itself. But it just it's just a quick overview of some of the things that they look into. And these are just some of many topics, you know, in regards to our oceans. So if we click through here and in our environment, so there's, you know, the world's water, cities through time, extreme weather, aquaculture, which is the farming of seafood, urban ocean, which is related to how marine life and ourselves can um, coexist in the ocean and how people are making that happen. So if ever you guys want to research things in regards to um, the planet and its oceans, these are some of the topics that are definitely things you guys can look into. These options right here, um, they're little interactives where you guys can look at maps and see how, for example, like, you know, the sea level rises and how that will affect different areas. Um, Ocean in Motion, where you can see different images and videos. So this is basically what it'll look like when you click it. And then if you wanted to look into it a little bit more, you can explore a little bit further. Some of them will have videos, um, data sets you guys can look at as well. Okay. So the other part I wanted to show you guys as well was the conservation tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on research archive. So Aquarium of the Pacific is only one place um, out of around the world that conducts research and that does projects and things like that in order to understand and to be more familiar and be more aware of things that are going on in our oceans how we do things like aquaculture and how that affects the environment as well as how what the environment's more like to 
be more aware of these things in order to figure out ways to understand them, how we as a society can help people understanding animals. As you guys can see here, which you guys can definitely read. And it's, you know, these are all very interesting types of research. I'm gonna go ahead and click the homepage. So again, I wanted to take you guys on this virtual tour of the Korean Pacific because it's an example of one of those places and websites that want to bring awareness of what's going on in the world in terms of our oceans, um, what we do that's related to the oceans, and how to bring more awareness to helping and conserving the environment and figuring out ways to be a voice for the different types of things that people are doing. So you guys as leaders can use your voice to make conservation projects, be more aware of and making other people aware of how certain things are doing in terms of the research that's going on, um, what animals might need more help than others, how the ocean is going on and how we can create projects on conserving our oceans as well as just being able to start conversations about how we can help our environment. If you guys enjoy this activity, please make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at BGCOPH. Also, make sure to start following us on our website as well and register at the V Club. Make sure you visit the Boys and Girls Club of Port Wayne Oxnard website and register to see all our other activities as well. We miss you guys. Please be safe. Bye.